A Matia Valley assistant badminton coach was recently awarded the main job. Justin Cornwell has the story of the new head Mustang in this week's feature, presented by Edward Medical Group. When Matia Valley badminton coach Matt Long left the program to become the head coach of the Mustang wrestling team, the MV athletic department did not need to look very far to find a worthy replacement, tapping longtime assistant coach Nikki Liska. I have been part of the Matia Valley badminton since um, we began in 2009, so I have 11 years under my belt with the program, a couple of them as volunteers and mostly as the JV coach, and so we've come a long ways from being just a a uh, freshman, sophomore team competing against other varsity teams when we first opened to now where we're, you know, competing at the state level and placing in the top 10 in state. Having been a part of Matia Badminton for over a decade, Coach Liska has seen the peaks and valleys for the program and brings a sense of familiarity for returning athletes like senior singles player and 2019 state qualifier Brianne Melinda. Coach Liska has obviously been like a large part of the Matia program. It is a little bit different for me because last year I did have Coach Long and his coaching style is a little bit different than Coach Liska. I think Coach Liska less sugarcoats things. She pushes us to be our best that we can. She's more conditioning heavy so that's a new thing for the varsity girls this year because last year we did more playing and this year it's more conditioning inclusive and I think that it's like really good for the team right now because we're all kind of like our skills are there but we got a condition so we're ready for games and I think Coach Liska really brings that for us. State qualifying doubles players Natia Nagarajan and Vishnavi Nukasani have graduated but their former partners sophomores Sophia Wang and Vivian Koch will pair up together this year to lead the Mustangs doubles attack. Last year both of our partners were really experienced and especially since they were seniors and they've been to state multiple times before so we were able to learn a lot from them um, but this year we're both on our own because we're partners this year um, so we're both growing together so it's a little bit scary because we have to do things on our own and we don't have anyone to guide us like last year but um, I'm looking forward to the new challenges and everything. A difficulty with having a new partner and not having senior partners is like adapting. So we're both good at different things. So when we were with other partners, like we did separate, like front, front and back. But now this year, we have to like throw everything out the window and restart. There will always be changes when a new head coach takes the reins. But there is one key element Coach Liska wants her teams to retain. What um, I really hope to keep is the family atmosphere. Um, I love that when we come to matches, we see past players and we see um, past parents still coming in and delivering food and coming to say hi or emailing coaches or donating items to our program. And so that sense of community and family is something that I hope our our program never loses. And um, and coming in and just bringing more of that competitive edge and continuing to prove ourselves as not being lucky, but we've worked really hard to get to where we are. Some of the girls who've placed in state are only a few years older than me, so I've got to like grow with them and see them do these amazing things. And being a senior and seeing like who's coming in, I see the potential for girls to do the same thing that are on this team this year. So I'm like really excited as a senior to see who makes it to state and how far we can get as like a whole team. With a new face of the program and plenty of young and improving talent, Matia Valley Badminton will surely continue its rise as a force to be reckoned with across the state. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.